again, and welcome back to Pioneer. We're still here on Itzalan, a new hope uh, in Epsilon Aerodyne. Right now, we're going to go to the paint shop. So you can find the paint shop in the ship repair section. section. And here we are. A little expensive, but whatever. So, let's see. There are a total of two, only two, paint jobs. And this one doesn't really take many colors into effect, does it? Light blue and this dark blue, that's color three. Here's color one and color two, but no color three. Hmm. Well, that's a little disappointing, but oh well. So, I think this is probably the better of the two paint jobs. So let's do some color editing. So, I'm thinking a kind of dark gray for this. Not quite black. Right, we want to kind of... Um, make it a little close to its uh, namesake. That's a little dark, I think. So, I'm going to go kind of grayish. That's pretty good. Because this, uh, the crow, it's a, it's a hooded crow, is uh, the English name for these things, I think, is a kind of neat looking crow. It's white and uh, it's grayish and uh, blackish, and the black part looks like a hood, which is why, in English, it's called a hooded crow. Unfortunately, we can't really replicate that with either of these paint jobs, so we're gonna do something, well, I suppose, similar. Oh wait, that, that was the wrong color. That was color 3. I wanted to do color 2. So we'll give it a gray paint job with a dark blue stripe. Now there's no actual reason why it should have a dark blue stripe. It could be just gray. We could match color 1 and color 2. But you know, a, little, a little extra color never hurts. And it's not like it's terrible. Let's see. This might be the better color, though. Let's make this the same as color three. Seven. Seven. Eighty-three. How's that look? That's... That's actually a little dark, isn't it? How's that? Yeah, that's more or less where we were at before, wasn't it? But that looks good. Okay. Paint job purchased. 890 credits. Hmm. Speaking of paint jobs. Speaking of buying paint jobs. Did you hear what uh, Frontier did recently? I say recently, but once again, I move about as fast as a snail so this once again might not be anything when by the time I get this uploaded but Frontier has gone and increased the price of all their cosmetics in their microtransaction shop why well no one can say besides Frontier. I mean, maybe they saw all the people defending um, the uh, the new ships for sale and said, hey, well, if these people are going to do that, we might as well uh, suck them of all the money they have in the meanwhile. I don't know. I mean, I think it's probably uh, 
a rofi burger sandwiched between a P and a T. But we can't say for sure. And it's just absolutely frustrating to see people defend this increase in price when, when there's really no reason they should. I mean, I said it before, but I don't think these things should be for on sale in the first place. But to then go and increase the price of this thing, these few bits of data, and there's probably a bit more than a few bits of data <laughs> involved in it, but this, this data, this package of information that should be more or less immune to inflation and go and increase the price of that. So terribly frustrating to see that, and it's frustrating to see people defend that. And I don't know why they do it. Frontier doesn't need defending. No company needs defending. <sighs> Anyways. Let's do this mission here. Because this is a dangerous mission, right? It could be dangerous. So, before we take it, let's go and take a look at the system. He wants to go to London. Package to London. It's a fairly large star system. DX Cancery. New Schultz, London. Okay, that's pretty close. Okay. Great. Boom. So we need eight tons of fuel. We still got two tons left over from our big, uh, our big uh, jump. From uh, oh, what was the system? I know it started with an S. Oops. Sigrium. That's it, Sigrium. So we go to Sirius, Luton Star, and DX Cancer. Wow, those are some famous stars. Not that we're going to stay there for very long. So eight tons. Keep forgetting where the gas, though. Eight tons. Okay, and we... Fuel up. Okay. And since this might involve some combat, let's go ahead and save, because I don't know if it's going to kind of equipment our enemy, or possible enemy, might have. Hmm. This is... Odd. What's with that prograde? I mean, we're coming straight off the planet. Oh, there it is. Okay, that that was well, that was a little weird. Let's go to Sirius. Everybody's famous dog star. Favorite, right? Everybody's favorite dog star. Look at that Sirius A, B, and it's got a bunch of little moons here. Nazredin, not moons, but gas giants. A neat little system. On to Procyon. No, we are not stopping at Luce and that star. But Procyon's pretty famous, nonetheless.
And we're out of gas. How did that happen? Did I... Huh. I suppose I should have checked how much gas we needed after we bought those eight tons. Oops. Okay. Well, that's an easy enough fix. Three tons from the gas tank. We're ready to go. Enemy TX sixty four seventy four in W lots. I don't know what that ship is. What? This is the one that wants to kill us. A blue nose. Oh, it's another big ship. No shields, though. Well, also, not my problem if he doesn't have shields. So, I think our range was about 20 kilometers. Blue nose. Yep. <laughs> I fought. Did the same thing, didn't it? Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Shaving a haircut. Saving a haircut. No bits. Alright, so let's head over to London. Not quite London. <laughs> Ooh. Alright. Where are you, London? Oh! He had a buddy. Well, this is a surprise. Hmm. Yeah, we might. Oh, this is a skipjack. No shields, though. That was... That was fairly simple. So... We did take some damage there, didn't we? shields went out with the first shot, more or less. So, a thousand credits is probably not going to cover this, uh, hmm. Repair job. We are going to have to buy another shield generator. Not here, though. This is probably going to be fairly expensive. Here I was thinking that I had combat all figured out. Well, 
we haven't died, Bill, so... That's a plus. I wonder if we'll get a bonus for blowing those two guys up. That would be nice. Somehow, though, I kind of doubt it. But we'll see. Right? It's the first time doing a... First time doing this kind of mission. So, maybe... Well, not a delivery mission, but doing a delivery mission with some combat. So maybe... We get lucky. And maybe we just eat the repair bill. Alright. So while we are here, let's check our orbit real quick. Not our orbit, but our uh, approach. Back it up. Back it up. And London is in a good place. So let's maneuver for braking. And get ready to visit London, Earth London's horror cousin. London. <laughs> right, let's break. Let's see if we can't push the uh, marker up onto the planet by breaking down low. It's getting there. Could probably speed time up a little bit more. There we go. a little more annoyed at this damage than I should be for like our second ever attempt at combat and uh, no actually the first time fighting somebody in an actual combat range I suppose we came out pretty well but I really would like to done better I really would have but I honestly didn't know that the shield would go out so fast. I think we should at least drop another generator in there. I think I have 107 tons of free cargo space, so another generator probably won't hurt that bad. I can get us close to a nice even hundred for cargo space, but that's not important. Even numbers aren't aren't what we need. We need protection. So maybe even a third generator would do us well. And we're getting close to London. A little lumpy rock. Okay, let's drop it down a bit. New Schultz. Schultz? Schultz has a T in it, doesn't it?
gravity's probably pretty low on this bit of cookie dough planet. And we're coming in kind of directly, but on a planet toy to like this, it probably doesn't matter. I'll slow down a bit more though. Okay. Looking good. Fair amount of hyperspace departures. Suppose they all left while I was fighting those two by the star. Time to slow our time dilation down a bit more. Because we can see the city there. though. Number three was gonna is gonna be expensive though. The autopilot likes to stop 15 kilometers up. But doing it this way gets us a whole lot closer. So forward cruise control. Crows control. Well, I suppose crows control kinda works in a sense. <laughs> level out and start to put it down. Oops. Bonus pay? No bonus pay. <sighs> A thousand credits. <sighs> okay. So let's see how much that cost us. give us any information on the hull here in the ship information. <sighs> Let's go. 1% is 200 credits. Oh boy. 12, 21%. 4,000 credits. Ooh. 
Man, there, there goes our paycheck and a whole lot more. <sighs> well, lesson learned. Multi scoop. That's not what we need. Where's the shield generators? Of course, I don't have any shield generators for sale. We can probably make that up with this mission here. Mission objections. Alright, it's another scanning mission. Yeah, we could do that. Tasa's still in a boom state, but so far away. And I want to do some more combat. So we'll take this mission later on. But for now, we'll call it a day. So, thanks for watching. See you all later. Goodbye.